Seasons change. They begin with hope, they dip with despair and rise in celebration, and they meet their end. Mac and the Blue Coats are playoff bound, and he hopes to lead his team to the promised land for an exclamation point on his breakout year. Scoot, on the other hand, plays his final games before NBA draft night. For him, everything changes on June 22nd when he officially joins the association. Finally, Norris gets his flowers as someone who's done it all in this game and reflects on a career filled with achievements. This historic G League season has been memorable. Let's see what else Mac, Norris, and Scoot have in store in this final act. able to develop his game and uh, we've seen it time and time again as he pulls another one two for two from beyond the arc. It has been tight for Chloe. Oh, oh my goodness! Through traffic and one. He took it strong there. We gotta give him credit. He did take it strong. Yeah. Shake and bake. Just gets a little bit of separation. Step back. How do you stop that? Yes, they are definitely headed back to the postseason. Right now, they are sitting in second. You see the Nets are the first. Those two both have clinched. Welcome back to the NBA G League playoffs. The number two seed, Delaware, opening up their playoffs against the three seed, Capital City. For those who don't know me, I'm Sharif Abdurrahim, president of the G League. This is, you know, I hope something that has been rewarding for you. Uh, I hope you've learned a lot. We are proud of what you've been able to accomplish. Um, you know, you're on the you know, precipice of really a, a new stage in your life, a new phase in your life. I would encourage you to one, 
to appreciate this moment. You know, before you, you know, you're going to jump into the whole pre-draft thing and you're going to, you know, start running around and seeing teams. There's going to be a lot of new and exciting things. Like, stop and appreciate this. It goes really fast. You'll look up and you'll be in, like, year three. So appreciate this moment. Um, I just want to start off by thanking my mom and dad for letting me come here at 17 and, and believing me and um, believing in my maturity level that I'm going to come here and I'm going to do nothing but work and, uh, you know, get the best out of the two years. And uh, that, that's what I've been doing. That's what I came here for. And, you know, hopefully it pay off. So the uh, last two years have been great to me. So I appreciate all, all the players, all uh, everybody behind the scenes, P. Namani, Ern, uh, John. I appreciate everybody. I think Ignite is a stellar program, and we made the right decision, for sure. Um, we see the maturity level in school, and on and off the court, and so it was a really good move. People don't understand, like, he holds it good, but it's a lot, it's a big deal. It's a lot, and I always tell him, like, you feel pressured? I ask him, you feel pressured? pressure? You know you were born in a pressure cooker, right? Like, it's all good, but you can tell me. And so he's like, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. But there is, there's weight on your shoulders. Um, you have an opportunity to change the life of your entire family and, you know, those thereafter. And so it's a huge deal. Um, but I think he handled it well. And I think part of that is keeping the loved ones around you to keep you grounded, to be regular. Um, and our dynamic of regular family is a little different than other families. Like, if you have a bad game, we're gonna be like, yo, you, you stunk it up. You know, um, no sugar coating, doesn't change the amount of zeros on your paycheck, we're gonna tell you. So all the fans, y'all ain't gotta worry about telling them, we're gonna tell them. Um, and he's gonna, he's gonna learn and grow from it and go from there. Um, same way we're gonna encourage when he, when he kills, like, hey, you were a dog tonight, you know. Um, and so I think that balance, that family balance, where it's just always the same, is what, what makes him successful, too. A lot of people think you, um, it just happens overnight. Nah. So for me, it's, this is expected, because we did put the hours in the work in. I haven't enjoyed it yet, to be honest with you. I guess when everything's settled, maybe when Scoop finds his city and he gets trapped and finds his city and everything kind of calmed down, I might just go back to the, to the tape and look at it and, and then enjoy it then. You know, I don't know, I can't say. I'm not really a crybaby like that, but I might have to shed a tear too. I don't know. Um, we'll see, to be determined. Just try to stay present. You know, I don't try to think about the future too much. Uh, I know God has put me in a, in a crazy place, in a great place, and, but he knows I can handle it. He knows I can handle it, whatever he throws at me. Gonna get faster pace and he attacks the paint, unable to find his look, but finds Lewis King outside the three-point line is able to knock down a big three. And that brings us to halftime. 56-45. The Blue Coats on the road with the halftime lead in the Eastern Conference Finals. As a defender, knowing the athleticism, the ability to finish at, or at the rim, when you're defending McClung, are you kind of shading that way to try to protect the paint that opens that up? Absolutely. You, what you want to do is force him to make mid-range shots. McClung on the pull-up, and one.
Another Long Island third quarter timeout as the lead has ballooned to 20. The Blue Coats have been the road warriors here in Long Island, coming in as a number two seed, but right now building a 20 point lead on the number one seed. Cross course pass stolen by Duke, and he glides in for the lay in. And the pressure has bothered the Blue Coats. That's the look. Smith off the steal will lay it in. behind the screen, knocks it in. Mark the time, six minutes, 30 seconds remaining on the clock. The three goes down, it's a seven point game. Smith fires away and knocks it down. Drew Smith from deep. 11 straight for Long Island, looking for more. Williams collects it, skying in for two is Bowden. It's a two point game. Under five to play. Long Island's defense creating some havoc as Keyes tries to drive in. McClung picks it up, clutch basket. Gray on the baseline, too strong. Redirects to McClung. McClung two on two, McClung all the way in. Strong response by the Blue Coast, especially this time of the game. King, a little hesitation, and then sinks it from three. Seven to shoot, Springer spinning, muscles his way in, and Springer has a chance for three. Eight in a row for Delaware. Final two minutes of the game, you can throw it to the backcourt. It was to King, and now McClung to the left hand. Oh, the follow, there's that man again. The key for Delaware. For the third straight year, the Blue Coats reach the G League Finals. 108-94 the final. They come on the road here to Long Island and take down the Nets. This is the trophy before the trophy, right? So there's, there's two more to go. There's two more to go. It doesn't get easier. It doesn't get easier, right? So we got to keep playing better, find ways to get better, keep competing, all right? First game in Hey, enjoy this one tonight. I always enjoyed when they said Norris Cole from Cleveland State, so I always wanted to make sure everywhere I went, I performed well and I treated the people with respect so they had good things to say about me because they're gonna look and see where I'm from. And Dayton, Ohio and Cleveland State is where they, the first thing they're gonna see. So I always wanted to make sure I represented, you know, our school correctly. Wonderful basketball lessons, life lessons. Absolutely. Thank you for being uh, an ambassador uh, <laughs> of ours. So congratulations. Uh, on becoming a member of the CSU Athletics Hall of Fame. Folks, let's, let's give him another round. Thank you. Appreciate it, baby. How you doing? Whew. He hello, everyone. <laughs> Can y'all give my grandmother uh, a round of applause for me? <laughs> Cleveland State gave me a chance to live my dream and take care of my family. <laughs> I used to grow up like playing basketball by myself. I didn't have no brothers. I had my big cousins who were here, who put me through training whenever they could, when they weren't working. But my dream was always to play Division I. And Coach was the only coach in the country that gave me that chance to play Division I, Coach Waters. <laughs> Coach had a way of communicating with me different than he communicated with everyone else. <laughs> uh, he coached me probably harder than he's ever coached anyone, but I kind of welcomed it. You know, one thing that I respected about Coach, uh, when he came to recruit me, he told me he's not going to promise me anything except that if I'm good enough and I do what I'm supposed to do, he'll give me a chance. And for a guy like me from Dayton, Ohio, that's all I needed was a chance. And coach, I, I promise you, I appreciate you. I think about you all the time. <laughs> so 
for my family, um, my foundation. One of the reasons I was able to succeed at Cleveland State was because it wasn't me. Um, I had a system in place, my mom, my dad, my sisters, um, you know, my, like I said, my grandmother, my aunties, my cousins, they all here. They all are up here from Dayton, my church family, they all are here. And that's one of the reasons why I was able to succeed at Cleveland State because whenever I was struggling or whenever something wasn't right, I knew who I could go to, I wasn't alone. And you know, that's important, having a foundation, having somebody that you can lean on. And so it also gave me something to fight for. I always knew I wasn't just playing for me. Cleveland State, I appreciate you guys. When I came here, I was a, a young boy from Dayton. And when I left here, I was able to take care of my family and be a young man. So thank you, Cleveland State. that takes the pressure off of. Now he can simply just play basketball, enjoy himself playing here at the G League level, and not worry as much about making money, having to get that call up from the NBA to make it. Because now, he's a superstar. Everybody knows Mac McClung in the basketball world now. Mac McClung was on SportsCenter before this game. They are calling for him. People want to know what Mac McClung is doing at all times. He's doing commercials with Vince Carter, my man. Listen, he's got it all going right now, as do the Blue Coats. At the end of the first quarter, it was 41 to 21. Delaware set the tone early, and they never let up. They really did. Game one of this NBA G League Finals goes to the Delaware Blue Coats, 134 to 120. Game two will move to Rio Grande Valley on Thursday. The Blue Coats can close it out. Rio Grande Valley needs the win to stay alive. Very little the Vipers guards have been able to do to stop them. At the line for the Blue Coats number nine, the Vipers fans. We're still shooting one free throw shot, good for two. It'll switch under two minutes back to normal NBA free throw rules. Washington will pull from deep and nail the three. He's got 36. He's been the guy. Back-to-back 30-plus -back point games for Tata -ta Washington. And he's going to need to have a lot more over the next three nights. And he gets the turnover. Vipers get it back down by 10. Does the job defensively as well. Tata -ta Washington, he's feeling it. He doesn't want to give it up. Goes one-on-one -on -one against McClung. Contact, no call. Washington strips it back. Puts it up and in. Lead is back to single digits, and Delaware calls timeout. Under three minutes to play in this fourth quarter. 
Key left open, doesn't take it. Extra passes to Springer. Short, batted out. Here's Days. One on three, and he gets it to go. Darius Days, and the lead's down to six. Stripped away. That's Mitchell on the floor. It'll stay with Delaware. 4.9 on the shot clock. Here. <laughs> it's supposed to be hot here. We're playing for a tip. Key stripped. But a foul called on Polly Stein as he just grins with that gold mouth teeth piece showing. Still shooting one for two as Key missed it. Good foul by Polly Stein. Great foul. And now an opportunity to get this down to four, maybe even three. Ty Ty Washington, he's been the man. Spinning, moving, days inside, and it's down the floor. McClung's got the seven footer on him. Cauley Stein pushes off from the corner. What a shot! Mac McClung. Big bucket for McClung, making big time plays in the fourth quarter as he did in game one. Toronto foul, and Delaware has done it. Your 2023 NBA G League champs, the Delaware Blue Coats. I think that's the only thing that's going to make Mac happy is, is, is being in the NBA. McClung. Oh my. Yes. Welcome to the Sixers, Mac McClung. The emphatic two points from the dunk contest champion. Man, it's just a confidence builder because, you know, you're down in G League, it's a different league. You're like, oh, you know, everybody doubts themselves. Oh, can I play with this? You know, can I do this? And, you know, it was a big confidence builder. I always knew, you know, but also, like, just for it to happen is, you know, a, such a big confidence builder, and hopefully I can just keep building from it. My main goal is to get to the league and dominate and be me, but uh, never nervous, I think. Just uh, always just prepare uh, to do what I do. Prepare to try new things and to learn, always. They say all good things must come to an end. But I say these players' journeys still have plenty of breaks around the corner. All right, that's a wrap on the break. See you next season.